Hello, my name is uh, Sean Herrick with Micrometer Technical Support. And today I'd like to talk about one of the troubleshooting steps that uh, we use when it's difficult to shut down or we're trying to determine if we have to shut down a flow line. Here we have a MC propeller in a cutaway pipe with a cutaway bearing so we can see the internals of the bearing. As I rotate the bearing, you can see the rotation of the four pole magnet. Up at the register assembly, you'll also notice that as I rotate the propeller, the mag speed magnet on the register assembly is also rotating. Being able to see how the internals of the meter operate can help us better understand how to troubleshoot the meter in a flowing line. In some situations, it may be difficult to shut down an application to remove a propeller meter from a flowing line. So one of the things we can check is if we remove the canopy assembly and there is flow, then we can see that the speed cup on the register assembly is rotating. In that case, if your needle is not reacting or your totalizer is not counting, then there may be a problem with the register assembly. However, if you remove the canopy assembly and you find that the speed cup is not rotating, then we wanna know what's going on inside the pipe with the propeller, the bearing, the drive cable, and the register assembly. So at this point, we can remove the register assembly to check to see if the drive cable is rotating. The register assembly will unthread like a light bulb. For further details on how to properly remove and reinstall a register assembly, please reference this video. Here I've removed the register assembly. If there is motion, if the prop is free to rotate, then I can look down into the brass bushing on the base plate and see the motion of the drive cable. If I look in the brass bushing and find that the drive cable is not rotating, then there may be a problem with the propeller or the bearing. So to check that, I will reach in with a pair of needle nose pliers and I will remove the drive cable and quickly inspect it. If everything looks good, I'll reinsert the drive cable until it catches. And you can see when I catch the back side of the bearing, the drive cable rotates. At this point, I can simply push the drive cable down with my finger and it should be firmly seated in the back side of the bearing. However, if when I install the drive cable back into the line, I briefly rotate it to catch the back side of the bearing and there's no motion, then that could be an indication that the propeller is stuck or the bearing is seized up. To further check that, I can take the drive cable and I can rotate the drive cable by hand and you'll see the motion translated down to the propeller. At this point, I can potentially fr free up the propeller if it has been stuck by a pebble or a piece of debris. However, if the propeller is seized up, and I try to rotate the propeller, you'll see that the magnet assembly simply slips without causing any damage to anything along the way. All right, at this point, we should have been able to determine if there's a problem with simply reseating the drive cable into the register assembly, or if there appears to be a problem inside the pipe. So with this knowledge, we can determine if we have to shut down the line for further troubleshooting or if we were able to resolve the issue by simply taking a look at what was going on and uh, checking what we could get to without removing the meter from the pipeline. Hopefully this helps you out and 
If there's any other questions or concerns, go ahead and uh, give us a call at uh, Micrometer and uh, we'll see if we can help you out.